It was 10 years ago this month, a photojournalist from the Columbus Dispatch in Ohio posted a video of a homeless man with a unique gif. When you're listening to nothing but the best of oldies, you're listening to Magic 98.9. Ted Williams became known as the guy with the golden voice. Almost overnight, Ted became a sensation. With appearances on Good Morning America and Entertainment Tonight, he got a taste of Hollywood stardom. And his story was almost as dramatic as any movie. He first found success as a DJ on Columbus, Ohio's WVKO AM radio station, spinning hits and treating listeners to the soothing sounds of his natural talent. But soon drugs and alcohol got in the way and Ted found himself unemployed and without a roof over his head. Without a home, money, or family to turn to, Ted knew he had to use the one thing he had left to stay alive, his voice. After being rediscovered by the world, Ted got job offers, a new home, and financial security. Things seemed to finally be coming together, but his troubles were not over. Relapsing and money troubles landed Ted back on the street. He lost it all again, and people lost track of him, leaving fans wondering what happened to the man with the golden voice. And this story gets me. Ted Williams joins us from Columbus, Ohio. Thank you so much, Ted, for joining us. Oh, Listen. thank you, Tim. Oh, my thank gosh. I, I feel like it was yesterday. I remember you walking into the Today Show, the security escorting you in, and just everyone smiling um, as you walk by because they were rooting for you. And then yes, soon sir. after, um, things just spiraled out of control again and again. What's your life like now? Well, right now, a lot of things uh, because of the COVID situation, Tamron, uh, has kind of postponed, not canceled, but postponed a lot of things. Uh, I haven't made very much of anything happen uh, as of last year uh, since the COVID, but uh, I'm still hoping that things have another turnaround. You know, I'm still sober. Mm -hmm. I'm actually in between living and, you know, the fair housing laws haven't been fair mm -hmm. to uh, people who have gotten out of prison and so forth. It's been a long time. I haven't been to jail <laughs> or had any reasons to go to jail since then. But uh, I haven't had a place to call my own since 2014. So you know, 2014. With... So that was around the time you got a couple of gigs after, you know, this world fame came. And then you got help with getting a house. How did you, yeah. you, you how soon did you have a relapse um, after all that stuff came your way, all of those blessings came your way? Well, I didn't relapse until 2011 prior to going back on the Dr. Phil show. Uh, you know, when I came back, there was so, Tamron, I wasn't even 30 days clean, and you know that uh, um, uh, in meeting you and the rest of the cast, but uh, uh, I wasn't even 30 days clean, and I was being offered all kind of uh, big jobs, uh, lots of money, book advances and all. And, uh, you know, I squandered through a few things and then went on the Dr. Phil show and then monies had been taken away from me, you know, uh, by various agents and lawyers that I had signed on with. They all kind of got theirs. <laughs> while and they, you while just weren't ready me. for it? No, uh, back then I wasn't. How many uh, times did you relapse after you became so famous? Twice. Twice, twice. in the year 2011. 2011. And right now you're sober, but you are without a home. That, well, yeah, yeah, without a home, living with my dear friend Mark Henderson and uh, my girlfriend of over 30 years uh, is right now in a nursing home and she's recovering not only from the COVID, she, she contracted the COVID, as I was telling Jeff, your producer, um, she's recovering from that and, uh, you know, she's hoping to get things yeah. together, but I'm still, you know, hanging, it's cheaper to keep her. <laughs> how, are, how do you describe your life now? Oh, I'm very grateful with the people that I have around me. My kids and I, we've all uh, pretty much gotten ourselves back together. In do you wish that video had never been taken? Do you, do you wish that you had got, not gone viral and gotten all that attention? Uh, at times I do. I, at times I do, you know. There are people that I see on the streets of Columbus, Ohio, uh, uh, that uh, from time to time, hey, are you that dude? And then let's take a selfie, yeah. you know, and I'm in the middle of eating something. 